With Ashton Broyle now, and Ashton, take us through the last couple weeks, because you guys won week one, and maybe it felt like you didn't after the game, then you come out and play really well week two. What was the growth like from week one to week two? Well, you know, we just, we, we played very, very poor, um, you know, the first game of the season, and um, we were just trying not to come out and make the same mistakes, and, and we didn't, you know what I mean? We executed at a much higher rate, and uh, we try to continue to keep that going. This team had a lot of confidence throughout training camp in August. Did that get back to where you, you wanted it to be against Central Michigan and it looked like the team you guys thought you were going to be? This is a hungry team. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much on confidence. I just want to say that, you know, everybody on this team just wants to come out and get better each day, inch by inch, you know, and that's what we're going to continue to do. One thing that popped off the page in that Central Michigan game is the depth of this offense. You rotated through five running backs that all contributed. A whole bunch of wide receivers were out there with you. Even the offensive line went deep. How's that going to help you as the season goes along to have that much depth? It's going to keep our guys fresh. You know what I mean? Uh, we're going to roll and uh, we're going to get the best out of everybody on the field. That's why we rotate. We want to keep everybody fresh and we want to be able to go 100%. Is that what we saw in the second half last week? Yes, sir. Uh, you know, we got a rotation going. Uh, everybody was fresh and, you know, we got a little rhythm going because we do it in practice. So mm -hmm. it, it translates to the game and uh, we just want to keep it going. Even though you're a wide receiver now, I want to ask you about one of the young running backs. What, what did young Urban Phillips show you in the last time? I about? love him. Uh, he's been showing me a lot this whole camp. He's a hard working, quiet guy. Um, and, you know, he, he stays to himself and he does his job. You got to love a freshman like that. All right, Maryland week, you, Ashton, future Syracuse alum. Your dad, Ashley, is a Maryland Terp alum. What's it been like here this week, and what's the battle going to be like between you two? Uh, well, like right after the game, he sent me a text, uh, go Terps, <laughs> right, right after the CMU game. And, uh, you know, he's pretty excited about it, but at the same time, he's going for me. You know what I mean? That's my father, but that's his school. So, of course, he wants his school to win, but he wants me to win at the same time. So, it's stuck in the hard, it's stuck between the hard place. All right. I'll join you in rooting against your dad here this week. Uh, good luck on Saturday. Thank you.